And welcome to Art Expression for Self-Reflection and Stress Release. Thank you for joining me today. My name is Kimberly Griffiths, and I am a counselor and art therapist in Colorado Springs. Thanks for joining me. I hope you will enjoy being creative with me today. This project is designed to help you release tension, relax, and have some fun. It's super easy to do, and it should only take you about an hour to an hour and a half. Today our project will be creating mandalas, but first I'd like to take you through a brief relaxation exercise to help bring you to a place of calmness and bring you fully present into the moment. So if you'll please get into a comfortable position either at your table or on the couch, I'd like you to make sure that your back is straight and that you are taking full deep breaths if you'd like to close your eyes, that is helpful for some people, but you don't have to. Just glance lightly towards the floor or towards your lap. And just relax. Gently move your attention away from what you're thinking to the sensations in your forehead and around your eyes. Soften and let go of any tension. Smile a little and soften your jaw and let your shoulders feel heavy and drop away from your neck. Relax your upper arms, your lower arms, your hands and your fingers. And now relax into your breath. Place one hand over your heart and let your shoulders drop even more. Feel your breath move your hand up and then down, up and then down. Now move your hand to your belly, let go and relax. Breathing in and breathing out. Now let your hands rest easily in your lap and let go of any tension in your upper legs. Soften your knees Soften your lower legs and let your feet sink right into the ground. Notice the feeling of breathing. Notice how your body feels as you relax and drop in. The part of your mind that is noticing, that's awareness. It's nothing special. You don't need to look for it. You don't need to do anything at all. Awareness is always here. Settle in and stay with your breathing for a few moments and trust that your breath will find a natural rhythm. Trust that awareness is always here. Breathing in and breathing out. And now take a nice, full, deep breath, filling your lungs completely and all the way down into your belly. And then release your breath, letting out any remaining tension. And now when you're ready, gently open your eyes. Welcome back. So for our mandala drawing today, I want to explain a little bit about what a mandala is all about. It's an art form that is used often in Eastern philosophies to aid in one's practice of meditation or mindfulness contemplation. And that's basically what the meditation practice was that we just did, the breathing exercise. Brings us back to being in the moment and in full contemplation of where we are right now. It's most often created in a circle. A mandala represents the universe or all that is in these Eastern philosophies. But we're using a circle today to represent containment. So our drawing will be done within a circle. 
So what you'll be using today is a piece of cardstock paper or even just regular drawing paper. Whatever you have available is fine. I like to use something a little bit heavier. And we'll, what we'll be doing is first drawing a circle on the paper. I use something as simple as just the top of a coffee, plastic coffee can to trace around for the circle. And I like to keep a huge selection of colored markers because I love color. So you can use black or any color that you're comfortable with. All you have to do is place the tracing tool on your paper and then trace all the way around it. While you're doing that, I'm gonna show you a few samples of, of what a mandala can actually end up like. This is one that I completed not long ago, and basically doing this kind of exercise is like doodling. Super easy and fun. You don't need to think about where or what color you're using next, where you're going with your lines. It's just let the color move with your pen. Here are some samples of ones that have already been outlined. Just to give you some inspiration, I thought you'd like to see a few of these. They can be really simple. They can be somewhat elaborate using images like flowers. This one reminds me of a spring garden. And then in a final product form, it might be as simple as just using one color. And I like this one because it's very unique. It's not really even a geometric pattern. It's just free-flowing art, which is totally fine and really fun to do as well. So basically, your next step is going to be using your markers and starting in the center of your circle. This again is just a sample of a simple heart image and then moving out from there. You also might want to use a smaller one in order to finish this project in about an hour. So basically I'm just going to grab a color that I'm attracted to today. Purple sounds fun. And I'm going to start in the middle. and make my first mark. I'm gonna keep my purple handy because I'm probably gonna to wanna to go back to that. But as, as I look at my colors and I pull another marker out, my goal is to create a variety of different patterns from the center. So it's even as simple as making dots. I can make a whole another circle from there. And then use a color to fill in the space in between. Whatever lines, shapes, or colors you use is perfect for you today. Bring my purple back in. Maybe use a repetitive pattern that I used before. And then I'm just gonna fill in some of the space between the colors just to make it as colorful as possible. From here, I think I might pull in something like a pink tone. Again, just as simple as putting dots down.
And as you move out from the center, you'll see it'll start to take some shape. Something very fluid and relaxing to put down on the paper. Let's see. can be really easy to get lost doing this. Sometimes I forget that I even need to concentrate. <laughs> Just let it go. nice thing too about this kind of a project is that you can start something and then set it aside for a while and then come back to it later if you want to. This is also a really fun process to do with kids. If you have kids in the house or a partner, um, you can even start a mandala for yourself and then switch it with the other person and they can add colors and lines. It can be a really fun project to do in a group as well. go. So at this point, I think you get the idea of where you can go with this project. I hope that you enjoy filling your circle in. And something too you might consider is the more of these you do, you could save them and actually put them on your wall so that when you do your own breathing exercise or just take time to sit and look at your mandalas, it's a nice way to relax and remember to breathe. So basically that's it for today's project. I hope that you enjoyed our time together and I'd love to see some of your art pieces when you complete them. Okay, so now you're coming to a completion of your art project. And as you do so, I'd like you to reflect on the following question. As you look at your completed mandala drawing, is there a difference between how you felt at the beginning of the exercise and, as, and how you feel now? So give that some thought and please write down your answer as completely as you can. I'd also like to thank and acknowledge Bemis School of Art and the Colorado Springs Fine Arts Center for allowing us to spend this time together. Thanks so much.